Well, hello and how are you? Hey, this here is your friend Shenandoah Briscoe coming to you live right here in St. Charles, Missouri. Yes, sir, home of Christmas traditions. Santa Claus is from around the world. Yes, sir. Plus, you got your uh, different uh, genres of characters from storybooks and stuff like that. I was going to read off all the characters a few moments ago, but I decided not to. Anyway, they starts on their... Uh, Wednesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Yes, sir. Uh, usually it's a uh, six. Uh, let's see, about uh, six p.m. to nine p.m. Something like that. Anyway, and then uh, Saturdays and Sundays it starts earlier in the day. I told you yesterday what time it was. So if you if you don't remember, if I if I since I don't remember what times they are, if you look at yesterday's, you can catch the time then. It's on Main Street here in St. Charles. Come on over and enjoy yourself. There's roasted chestnuts. There's uh, sugar plump berries. There's uh, the Jack Frost and Santa Clauses from around the world. And then there's some singing quartets and some groups of singers and stuff like that, singing Christmas carols and whatnot. Anyway, hey, all that being said, this here is going to be blog number 306. That's right, 306. I'm not going to preach to you today. I ain't figured out what, whether I'm going to start a preaching or not. So we're just going to roll her off the cuff today because, well, I tell you what, I are having a rough one today. My, my uh, uh, I'm having these little uh belly spasms which are giving me uh autonomic hyper dysreflexia now autonomic hyper dysreflexia i think i've explained several times for all uh, most of you folks out there being some, i'm a quadriplegic meaning that i'm paralyzed anyway if you get some sort of a discomfort below your point of paralyzation why that means that there's going to be it's going to need to try to send a message up to you uh, up to your brain to let you know there's discomfort down below well if there's discomfort down below well that uh, message gets up to your blockage in your spine wherever your spine happens to be blocked mine's way up in the neck anyway it gets up there and then it turns back around and they says says hey they ain't nobody up there listening there's a roadblock we're gonna have to find another way around and there weren't no detour sign and so long as there weren't no detour sign it tries to get me that message some other way and well the way it gets me that message is it sets my fight or flight syndrome to kick in and that brings my blood pressure up and my my adrenaline my internal adrenaline goes up and I start to sweat profusely and my my blood pressure starts going up and I know when it's really high because my ears start ringing but I'm not a ringing so I ain't got to worry about that there anywho it's just a I know what it is it's the abdominal pressure but there ain't no clear clean clear cut way of saying it so I ain't saying it it's flagellants look that one up you'll see unless you already know and if you already know well there you go <laughs> yeah 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 alright that was nice now that we got that all taken care of Yep, I keep getting people wondering about this beard of mine. Well, I don't know how long I'm going to keep her. I'm going to keep her long enough. I, I keep thinking, well, right in January, right at the beginning of January, I'll shave it off just to get her through Christmas. That's about the whole idea of it. Do my Santa Claus thing. Santa Claus coming to my house. Because Santa Claus coming to night. Better watch out. Better not lie. You better not cheat. You better not steal. Santa Claus is coming, and he'll beat you with his wagon wheel. What? 
Oh yeah, he sees you when you're stealing. And he knows when you've got when you need a break. So and all in all is good. So be good for goodness sake. You better watch out. You better not steal. You better not shout. I'm telling you he will. He'll beat you down in his big red sleigh. Cause Santa Claus is coming this way. That ain't the correct words for that song, is it? He sees you when you're sleeping. He knows when you're awake. So la la da dee 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 do. So be good for goodness sake. You better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. Cause Santa Claus is coming to town. There you go. That's part of the words to it, anywho. I would sing it a little better. Or sing it a little different. But I ain't sing it in there before. So the singing won't be sang. Right? Right. I'm just trying to make it through this thing, okay? Just bear with me. I'm going to sing. I'm going to do whatever it takes. Whatever it takes to make it through. I'm surprised I'm still not drifted down and got my face in my lap already because I'm pretty tired. Uh, I don't know why I'm tired, but I'm just not feeling up to it today. So I'm just kind of winging it. We're playing it with a wing and a prayer. That's right. I just asked Father God to let me get all the way through this thing. In Jesus' name, amen. No sleeping, no nothing, no drowsiness, no no uh, anything of that nature. Do I want to sing? Do you want me to sing? I think you want me to sing. I could tell. I could tell. You want me to sing, don't you, Craig? You and Denise and all y'all. Y'all want me to sing? Well, alrighty then. I'm going to sing for you. Don't know what I'm going to sing, but I'm going to sing something. Something that just y'all would like to hear. I know you. Well, I met up with the gambler on a train bound for nowhere. Never played hand in hand, and he was on the line. Well, he was south mountain. A white hand in hand. Never do a hand of hand. And it was just there to sleep. So anyway, uh, I'll sing that one. Give me a second. I'm going to pull it up and I'll sing that one. Oh, I guess i got to hit that button over there first. All right, give me a second. I'll pull that up. Here, I'll just drop that down and let you all see how I pull it up. Wake up. Song lyrics. The Gambler. there. Oh, well, let's hide that thing. Alright, we got it. Go to sleep. Well, on a warm summer's evening, on a train bound for nowhere, I met up with the gambler. We were both too tired to sleep. So we took turns of staring out the window at the darkness the boredom overtook us and he began to speak he said son I've made a life out of reading people's faces knowing what the cards what the cards were by the way they held their eyes so if you don't mind me saying I can see you're out of aces for a taste of your whiskey I'll give you some advice. So I handed him a bottle, and he drank down my last swallow. 
Then he bummed a cigarette and asked me for a lie. And the night got deathly quiet. And his face lost all expression. He said, if you're gonna play the game, boy, you gotta learn to play it right. You've got to know when to hold them. Know when to fold them. Know when to walk away. Know when to run. You never count your money. When you're sitting at the table, you know there'll be time enough for counting when the dealing's done. Well, every gambler knows that the secret to surviving is knowing what to throw away and knowing what to keep. Cause every hand's a winner and every hand's a loser. And the best that you can hope for is to die in your sleep. Well, and when he finished speaking, he turned back towards the window, crushed out his cigarette, and faded off to sleep. And somewhere in the darkness, while the gambler, he broke even. And in his final words, I found an ace that I could keep. You've got to know when to hold them, know when to fold them, know when to walk away, know when to run. You never count your money. When you're sitting at the table, there'll be time enough for counting when the dealing's done. you got to know when to hold them, when to hold them, know when to fold them. When to fold up, no when to walk away, no when to run, you never count your money. When you're sitting at the table, there'll be time enough for counting when the dealing's done. There'll be time enough for counting when the dealing's done. There, how was that? Alrighty then. Now, there's another one uh, that I'm going to pull up because I want to um, sing it, too. So, give me a second. I'm just going to let you let you bring... I'll let you uh, do it while I do it. I mean, you'll know, you'll know as I know. All righty. Wake up. You never call me darling. Scratch that song lyrics you never call me darling go to sleep alright it's a Merle Haggard tune no it's David Allen Cole Well, it was all that I could do to keep from crying. Sometimes it seems so useless to remain. But you don't have to call me darling, darling. You never even call me by my name. You don't have to call me Waylon Jennings. You don't have to call me Charlie Pride. You don't have to call me Merle Haggard anymore. Even though you're on my fighting side. And I'll hang around as long as you will let me. And I'll never mind it standing in the rain. But you don't have to call me darling, darling. You never even call me by my name. Well, I've heard my name a few times in your phone book. Hello, hello. And I've seen it. On signs where I've played. 
But the only time I know that I'll hear David Allen Cole is when Jesus has his final judgment day. And I'll hang around as long as you will let me. And I never minded standing in the rain. But you don't have to call me darling, darling. You never even call me by my name. Well, I've heard my name a few times in your phone book. Hello, hello. And I've seen it on signs where I have played. But the only time I know I'll hear David Allen Cole is when Jesus has his final judgment day. Well, a friend of mine named Steve Goodman wrote that song and he told me it was a perfect country and western song and I wrote him back a letter and I told him it was not the perfect country and western song because he hadn't said anything about mama or trains or pickup trucks or prison or getting drunk <laughs> Well, he sat down and wrote another verse to the song, and he sent it to me, and after reading it, I realized that my friend had written the perfect country and western song, and I felt obliged to include it on this album, and the last verse goes something like this here. Well, I was drunk the day my mama got out of prison, and I went to pick her up, in the rain but before I could get to the station in my pickup truck she got ran over by a damned old train and I'll hang around as long as you will let me let me let me let me and I never minded standing in the rain no, you don't have to call me darling, darling. You never even call me. Well, I wonder why you don't call me. Why don't you ever call me by my name? All right, there it is. That's the end of it. All righty, friends, it's time for me to go. Sorry, I've got to go, but I got to go. So, this here is Shenandoah Briscoe saying hello and how are you? You know, God loves you and so do I. So, be blessed in Jesus' name. Come back and see me tomorrow because, well, I'll be here and I hope you are too. <laughs>